So this is day two of my Rich Rich series and this is the makeup look that I have created. I know it might still be a wee bit boring but I knew that whenever I was wanting to do this series I wanted to do a glossy chocolate eye and lip. I think I've already done one of these makeup looks on my channel before I'm bound to have. I think I pretty much have so oops see me. <laughs> But honestly, especially, especially for this time of year, you see just like glossy lips and a glossy eyes combined. I think the hair's kind of pulling in with it as well. Stunning. Oh, let's do this face quickly. I look deathly. <laughs> I'm gonna try this primer for the second time. I'm gonna put less on this time because I think that was the issue I had the other day, if you've seen that video. The What's Up Beauty Positivity Lightweight Hydrating Primer. It just, I don't know whether it was the foundation <laughs> or the primer, but I think I might have put too much on. I think I've still put too much on, but we'll see. And I'm also trying it with a trusty favorite foundation. And I'm taking my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Punjab. Yeah, you see, this is why whenever it comes to first impressions, or full face first impressions, if you don't necessarily like a product or if it doesn't work for you, I always suggest giving the product another go and trying it with other products. Trustworthy products that you know and love. Because this is a favourite foundation and that primer is sitting lovely underneath. And the foundation is sitting nice on top of the primer. Whereas the other day when I used this, it was not it. <laughs> the, the, the foundation that I was using, I think it was the Revolution Skin Silk. No, these two were not a good mix. So I was on Instagram before I started filming and you know how I'm loving at the minute? Molly May. <laughs> and when I see her last night in Paris with L'Oreal, how unreal did she look in that red dress? That hot orange red, red dress. But I'm just loving the fact that she is literally proof that you really don't need a man, do you? <laughs> She's just out there, glowing, thriving, and living her best life at the minute. And I'm loving it for her. Don't get me wrong, I know she's still going through a breakup, let's just say, things are probably still raw. She could potentially still be going home at night and crying herself to sleep, but Girl, she's putting on a good front, isn't she? She is looking so good at the minute and she's just, she is thriving. She is, she's in her moment. She's in her moment. Her moment is now and I'm just, I'm loving it for her. I'm absolutely loving it. <laughs> so I have the new by Terry Hyaluronic Serum Concealers. I have two shades here, Cream Beige and Apricot Nude. I had another shade but I gave it to my mum because it was more of a golden shade. She doesn't like to wear concealer as light as I do. So cream beige is five and then apricot nude is three. So I'll take three. So this is quite an interesting concealer actually. I would say it's more of a skincare benefits type of concealer. Probably suit it and aimed more, or more suitable, sorry, maybe possibly. I don't know, this is just what I'm claiming. <laughs> to be better for like mature skin because it seems to be quite hydrating and with it being a serum concealer. <sighs> I always have to check my sponges before I use them now to see how hairy they are. <laughs> Stanley has such a habit of going into my drawer. She knows what drawer my sponges and powder puffs are and she always goes into that drawer and pulls them out. She's a wee beauty blender bandit. Okay, that's nice. I'm going to apply a wee bit more. It's definitely not a go-to concealer for me for like my full glam makeup looks. The coverage is nice. It's blending out beautifully. And these are the Revolution Bright Light Blush Drops in the shade Rosé Pink. I'm just gonna pop these out onto, oh, a palette. Yeah. So it's not giving me pigment. You know what it looks like? 
it looks more of like a sunburnt type of flush and hint of colour which is actually not bad but I feel like I can only see it in person. I'm gonna look in my viewfinder and I'm not really seeing much actually. The finish is quite nice. It's nice and dewy and not too glossy or overly glossy. Um, hasn't kind of disturbed any of the underlying product but it's just, it's not giving me the pigment I want so I'm gonna go in with another wee blush here. Just to intensify it a wee bit more. Oh my god. <laughs> Pet of birds just flew over my house. <laughs> it's gonna show me. <laughs> the best wee setting spray ever. Well this was definitely dug out of the archives. I'm gonna take the cheap. What is going on with oh, that's powder? I thought it was my tan. <laughs> So this is the Cheek Looters Mini Bronze Palette from Benefit. Blush, highlight and the Hula Bronzer. I don't like Hula Bronzer so I took it out. So but I do like the, is it Coral? Oh no, Gold Rush! And then Cookie Highlight which is iconic in itself. <laughs> so I'm actually just going to take with the same brush just a mixture of these and then I might take just a bit bit of this blush from Beauty Bay. In the shade Bloom. So literally all three at the same time. <laughs> and then bronzer, nothing new here. My V, still trying to get through it. Oh no! Oh sugar, I completely forgot. I was recently sent, well yesterday I got in PR, the new contour and bronze shades from She Glam. You know the wee liquid contour and bronzers? <laughs> so they had reached out and asked me if I wanted to try them. Um, I think they were actually expecting me to create content from it. Must look into that. But anyway, so... They sent me every shade, which is amazing, so that means that if I have to create content from it, I'm able to like swatch all the shades. The shade range is very good because the contour shades are very, very cool toned and very pale. So I was saying to my sister that, like, my sister is very, very pale. She's always on the hunt for, like, bronzers that are not too orange or red toned or anything like everything just shows up orange on my sister and i was saying to her like there's some really good like pale contour shades that you could use as bronzer or even as contour i suppose um one thing i will say is there's not a lot of dark shades so there's that so i'm gonna start with this shadow stick i'm gonna use this as oh that's going on nice i'm gonna use this as my base for my shadow. This is from Colourpop, it's their shadow sticks in the shade Walnut Avenue. So this is one of the matte finishes. These are actually really nice. You can use them on their own obviously, but I use them mainly as bases for either shimmers or matte eyeshadows. So just all over the lid and up to, oh, there's a shimmer on that brush. I need to clean my brushes. But am I going to anytime soon? Heck no. Whilst this shadow stick is still blendable, I'm just gonna give it all a nicely blended just at the crease. That's what I love about these shadow sticks is the fact that they are blendable. They're very, very pigmented and creamy. And then I'm gonna re-intensify that. Oh, look how nice that looks. Oh my God. Why does that look so nice? I'm going to re-intensify that by applying it just a wee smidgen more and then just going on and blending. So does any of you get me whenever I say this that whenever you see something and it just it gets underneath your skin and you need to talk about it. You need to express your thoughts and your feelings and you need to talk about it. <laughs> This is one of these moments and I hope it's okay. Yesterday I was expecting to get more hate because I called out James Charles and Be Perfect Cosmetics and that whole shit show that's happening and I was expecting to get more hate to be honest. 
but I didn't. Hey. <laughs> but I basically expressed a wee bit of thoughts and feelings towards the whole situation that's happening. As far as I'm aware, and now correct me if I'm wrong, um, I have everything blocked on Instagram and TikTok so at this point I actually don't really know the ins and outs of it too much. I've just seen one video and just gathered my information off that one video. But first going into the palette I'm going to take either fondant or coca. I might take... these will probably swatch exactly the same but they'll probably look different on the eyes. And what one was what? Yeah so I think it really doesn't matter actually either coca or fondant whatever my brush lands in first if you like james charles that's fine that's your prerogative but yeah if you like james charles you might want to skip this video yeah as far as i'm aware james charles is coming over to the uk to open the mega store in manchester the be perfect cosmetics mega store by the way in Manchester and I think there was talk of him coming over to Northern Ireland as well so anybody that doesn't know um that's where I'm from I'm from Northern Ireland and so it's be perfect so that's where they started that's where they're at they're here which is a shame you know because like because of that I've always had like you know a special wee place for be perfect cosmetics you know because they're they're home they're a home brand you know um so it's just, it's just a bit of a shame to be honest. Basically all of the allegations that came out against James Charles and grooming children. Now whenever I say children, I mean like young teenagers. And having that come out and it not affect his career or him being a public figure is quite frankly, in my opinion, my opinion, disgusting. I also think that it's also a slight form of male privilege as well, that no matter what allegations or what type of allegations come out against you as a male, it's not going to affect your life nor your career, your career especially. And I know there's maybe somebody is out there thinking, well, this happened years ago. Tell that to victims. I'm gonna take the shade Walnut. I don't follow and haven't actually followed James Charles on anything ever. Um, so the fact that he came up on my For You page on TikTok the other day, it was like, oh. I didn't, like, I, was, I wasn't aware. I'm not being disrespectful whenever I say this, but I genuinely was not aware that he was so relevant, if that makes sense. Um, but I'm just, do you know what it is? I'm just really disappointed on Be Perfect Cosmetics behalf. If you're a brand and you're okay working with somebody like that, you need to check yourself. <laughs> I obviously mentioned this yesterday as well, that because Be Perfect is supporting James Charles and basically using him for money and sales and mainly publicity I suppose, I have decided to no longer support Be Perfect Cosmetics. I was initially going to just go through my makeup collection and bin everything from Be Perfect Cosmetics but I thought that was a waste and just I couldn't do that. <laughs> no I couldn't do that, it's such a waste and I hate waste in all shape types of forms but no it's just it's disgusting in my opinion. I think that's like the main thing, I just I don't get it like how something like that can just come out about somebody and it's just been swept under the rug. And what was also quite disheartening as well was the fact that I had actually went onto the comment section of the video that James Charles posted by mentioning coming over here to Manchester or Northern Ireland or whatever and there were so many like UK creators that like we would see on our For You page so many being so excited about him coming over here. And it was just like, girls, can we not? <laughs> can we not support these people? Like, can we not support somebody who grooms children? Isn't it crazy how a pair of lashes makes an eye makeup look so different? I'm gonna go in with this Sigma highlighting brush and I'm gonna go into Still Walnut. That was the last shade that I was using. And the reason I'm taking this on a big fluffy brush or a cheek brush is I'm just going to dust out the brow bone and right out. So it looks really smoky. Taking a brown liner, I'm going to do my waterline. 
do a wee bit of something on the lower lash line before we apply some gloss. I think I might actually, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But I want to do a TikTok on applying the gloss. So I might do one eye on camera here. And then the other one doing a TikTok. <laughs> Oh, I'm taking the Fossil shade, which is the darkest brown in the palette, this one here. And I'm using this on quite a small brush, the Cash Beauty K10, and keeping that quite tight too. Whoa, this is looking really dark. I'm loving it. Come fuck me ice. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go into fondant and just blend this out. In the clear gloss gel, and it's from ColourPop. This one here, I think it's discontinued. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty sure if it is discontinued, I'll find another eye gloss that you can use or use a lip gloss, a clear lip gloss. And just using a flat brush, a tiny, we amount at a time and I just use or start with like the smallest amount and just press it on. I don't like to swipe because you don't want to interrupt or move the eyeshadow. I think that this set of makeup look just goes really nicely with like wet gelled hair as well maybe that's just me and then once i come to the crease i just like to use the tip and just go in hand motions Okay, so this is the completed makeup look guys. I do apologize that I went on ahead and done my lips off camera, but I just really wanted to make a TikTok with this makeup look. But what I did use on my lips was one of the new P. Louise lip liners in the shade of Boss Business. And then just on top of that is the ColourPop Obi Have. Uh, lip stick. And what I like about this is it actually is a bit of a gloss. So I actually just ended up putting, or just needed to put a wee bit of the gloss on top. Oh my God, oh my God. That's, that's using mousse and hair gel that's taking my tan off because I have an instant tan on. <laughs> that looks hideous. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's literally just all I done on the lips. So I will link and list all the products that I did use down below in the description box. I thought I'd mention it here. Whenever I was linking this palette in yesterday's trial, I did notice that Beauty Bay is doing a sale. I don't know if they're doing a sale on, sale on all their palettes, but I did notice that this palette was down to £14. It's 40% off. It's usually £25, but you can get this now for £14. Good timing, right? <laughs> so get it now. Get it now while you can and while it's on sale. Please go follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and make sure you come back for tomorrow's makeup look.